Hello, I'm Martin Dory, and you are watching Adorama TV. We're poolside today for the next episode in my series about shooting at the extreme. And we've come to Mermaid School, where we're gonna catch up with Alistair Scarlett, a free diving photographer who's setting up an underwater studio. Yeah, Alistair, thank you for your time today. Um, so please tell me about, we're here in this pool, tell me about the Mermaid course. Okay, well, uh, Freedive UK have come up with this mermaid course, which is unbelievable, really. It, it, it's actually quite hard. It sounds, you know, oh, I'm being a mermaid, but it, it's essentially a two-star freedive course. I'm basically an add-on to it, so once they've done their day's training, they've got something to go home with, and, uh, and they're all dressed up in, in tails, and, and, yeah, it's fantastic. It's great fun. So what are the difficulties of shooting in a pool environment? The, the biggest problem I find with the pools is, is um, the light, you know. It, it, it may look light through the camera and stuff, but it's actually quite dark in here. And clarity of water is always, you know, an issue. You know, the further you are away from your subject, the more volume of stuff you've got to try and shoot through. Tell me about the rig and how you've developed that in order to get over that problem. Yeah, so, um, yeah, the rig has a couple of strobes on it, which are used to sort of highlight the skin and, and basically the, the subject. Uh, and in turn, they, they will hit the sensors of, I've got three strobes above the pool, which will fire off as well, and that will light up a bit of background and, and just get a bit more light on the mermaids because it's, it's pretty dark down there. <laughs> the rig obviously is not something that kind of you buy out of a packet. How has it uh, evolved, if you like? Yeah, so I started off with a, uh, plastic bag, if you like, with a little lens cap, and I'd put um, you know, quite an expensive SLR and lens in a basically a zip bag, um, which was, you know, did its job. It's great for snorkeling when you're high, but when you're deeper, everything compresses. You can't use the buttons properly. You can't add strobes. So I quickly progressed to um, second-hand housing, which is immense. You know, see, so it's a proper toy. And because it's second hand, it was a little worn and things are kind of going wrong every so often. So over the past year or two, I've been saving up for a new rig and what I've got now is as, really as good as it gets for, for what I'm after anyway. And have you, got a, have you got a kind of standard lighting setup that you would use in terms of back, back light, front light? You yeah, know, that kind pretty of much. Stuff? It'll change a little bit depending on what pool you're using. Um, but yeah, I'll have like a hot spot because you need to light up a whole pool, you know, that, that's some serious, serious gear. So I'll have a maybe two, three meters square kind of area I try and get everything to happen in. Um, and obviously you, you're having to communicate underwater. So you've got these cards. Tell me about how, how you use those. Yeah, I use um, cue cards, which um, are really helpful because, um, you know, for both you, the photographer, and the the mermaid to visualize what you know what to do you know you, you can say something but you know that they might be thinking of something else so actually showing the picture is a really good way of uh, having some a starting point if you like for, for taking the pictures and then you'll re you, will you review with with yeah. the mermaid yeah so that, that's something because sometimes they you don't know what you're looking like underwater you can't see a thing so you're not wearing a mask so they can't they can't even see where I am half the time so it's really helpful to look at the thing after and go, oh, you know, let's stretch your arm out a bit, point your head up a bit, open your eyes. Um, yeah, so it's really important to review them with them. So when, they're, when you're shooting with them, no mask, they, do they rehearse with a mask or do they...? Yeah, they'll do some rehearsals with a mask. Um, Ian will show them how to ex do exhale dives, which is quite hard because you've got no air in you and that's all you need to, to live. <laughs> and swimming techniques to be nice and fluid. Um, it's all about relaxing, really. So your test shots, will you do, presumably you'll take some, we'll take some test shots with masks on and then show them what they're up to or not, or do you just go straight into it? Sometimes, quite often we'll go straight into it, yeah, because you might get the lucky shot, you know, first, first take kind of thing. Yeah, I mean, they, they take home a, a selection of photos, so it's nice to get as many different kind of positions as possible. <laughs> So while Alistair gets on with doing his stuff, that's all from us for Adorama TV today. Thanks for joining us. 
If you want more great hints and tips, don't forget you can always go to the Learning Center. And for more great videos, don't forget to subscribe to Adorama TV. Finally, please like, comment, or share this video. See you next time.